Hello, I welcome you all in this presentation. This presentation is based on the flash butt welding process and uh, this uh, presentation is also related with the subject joining technologies for the metals. Uh, you know that uh, uh, this process falls in the category of the resistance welding process and uh, we can say largely uh, the joint is formed in the solid state by forging the joints together, uh, uh, forging the components to be joined together. So, uh, we will see uh, that how this process works in and uh, in which way the joint is formed, what kind of components are commonly joined. So, the, the process flash, but welding. So, basically this process is a, a resistance welding process, where primarily uh, 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 the heat for preheating purpose is produced through the I square RT heating principle. Uh, but the total heat required for development of the joint is, uh, is a combination of the resistance heat plus the uh, arcing or flashing heat, the heat which is generated due to the, the flashes. So, uh, both these are used for increasing the temperature of the work piece to, to the required forging temperature say 1250 degree centigrade for steels. So, basically we need not to have the fusion state for development of the joint, uh, but it is uh, mainly the heating to the forging temperature as per the metal system say 1250 for the steels. Uh, the, the kind of temperature which is needed uh, for this purpose. Uh, we each uh, like preheating through I square RT heating and uh, the heat generation due to the arcing both these uh, uh, have their own specific role for a development of the joint. Uh, like uh, uh, since this process is uh, uh, one variant of the solid state process also. So, say as the joint is not formed in the uh, by melting the faint surfaces of the base metal, but joint is formed by forging the components to be joined together. So, this process uses no you can say filler metal, there is no filler metal and uh, no uh, you can say um, uh, no uh, large scale melting of faint surfaces, faint surfaces for uh, weld metal production. Whatever melting takes place that is primarily for the cleaning purpose and uh, uh, so that the uh, metal to metal co contact, metal to metal contact can be established when the things are forced together. So, no large scale melting of the thing surfaces for uh, producing the uh, weld metal production. At the same time, uh, this process relies heavily on the pressure for forging and for heat to reach the recrystallization. So, like in any other uh, like other welding processes mainly rely on the heat, so that the thing surfaces can be brought to the molten state like this application of the heat through arc or through the gas flame, so that molten state is achieved and under the gravity conditions the solidification is achieved, so that metallic continuity uh, can be obtained. But in this case uh, heat is used for uh, for uh, increasing the temperature of the thing surfaces to the forging temperature uh, and uh, uh, pressure is used for the forging purpose. So, uh, heating to the forging temperature and pressure for pressure application for forging the members to be joined, so that metallic continuity can be obtained or uh, can be obtained. So, this is what is there in the uh, the basic basics of the process as a whole, how does it uh, work in 
that is what mm, and now we will uh, let you know in detail. So, uh, this process uh, in this process one work piece or the members to be joined say one piece is kept fixed uh, like say with the help of the copper supported clamps, copper clamps and another end is kept movable say this is the movable part or another work piece to be joined which is kept movable and this is uh, also clamped with the copper shoes. So, this uh, can move back and forth and both are supported on the suitable structure. Uh, so, here initially uh, so this one is fixed and another is can be moved uh, towards the work piece and away from and towards the fixed component and uh, away from. So, this is also of the copper clamp. Uh, since the cop uh, it is of the copper so uh, because uh, these copper clamps apply pressure as well as deliver current to the work pieces for uh, the flashing or for the flash butt welding process. So, how does it start? Initially the members are kept away like this in stage 1 they are separated then in very controlled way uh, the movable part is brought close to the the fixed one. So, that there is a connection between the metallic connect contact between the, the two and in this stage when the two are in contact the contact will be through the peaks and valleys present at the interfaces both the sides and at this stage the current is fed. So, when the current is fed the flow of current of course, will be taking place uh, from the clamps the two ends and between these two. So, the flow of heavy current I square RT heating takes place. So, during this heating what you will see during this heating uh, this causes the preheating of the ends being joined. This is one thing uh, at the same time since the contact is very localized. So, what we will see contact is very localized. Uh, so, excessive heating at very localized points can take place for which can cause the partial melting of the peaks when partial melting of the peaks. So, initially when there is a contact preheating of the ends of the work piece uh, takes place and this preheating becomes complete means this entire section of the entire end of the work piece will be preheated uh, in, in the preheating stage when they are brought together. So, this is what happens in the stage 1 and thereafter the movable end is brought apart. In addition to this uh, the flow of the current is uh, very high uh, here the current which is allowed to flow uh, may be uh, say like say 20 to 50,000 ampere and the voltage is quite low may be 5 to 20 uh, volts. So, the very low current and high uh, very low voltage and high current is allowed to flow through the work pieces since the section size is large. So, uh, the resistance will be limited to, to have enough heat generation the current has to be too high and then it is allowed to and then the current is allowed to flow for some time. So, through I square R heating preheating can take place and then movable component is moved apart. So, what we will see after this uh, preheating uh, you will see that uh, the the in the stage 2 they were brought in contact in a stage 3 in very controlled way the members are moved away from. So, whatever 
whenever there was contact, so this uh, these members is moved apart. So, as soon as since there was a voltage of say 15 volt and flow of current was of say 30 thousand ampere as soon as the, the uh, movable component starts moving away from we will see that heavy arcing or flashing arcing or flashing starts this arcing and flashing uh, causes so many things like if this is the end of the work piece and here uh, between the two heavy flashing is taking place then uh, all these impurities oxides like in case of the iron Fe2O3 or FeO or Fe3O4 whatever oxides are there uh, they will be melting they will be melting. So, all the impurities oxides under the influence of heat so, uh, they will be either evaporated, melted and thus they will be removed. So, uh, this flashing will be basically cleaning the uh, cleaning the surfaces of the component to be joined and once this uh, flashing is uh, over, uh, so once this flashing is over in the fourth stage, uh, the component uh, which uh, uh, the component once the flashing is over. So, during this period there will be rise in temperature of the uh, at, due to the flashing and uh, uh, arcing for a short while uh, there will be heat generation uh, due to which impurities, oxides etcetera will be evaporated melted at the same time the ends will also be heated and we uh, this will continue until we will see that the rise in temperature I means ends reach to the forging temperature say in case of the steel it is 15 12 50 degrees centigrade once this temperature reaches the, the ends are uh, brought together means with the um, uh, with the uh, pressure the, the ends are brought together or in close form contact. So, uh, this is what we say upsetting stage. In the upsetting stage, uh, the ends are forged together with the heavy pressure. So, uh, the firm metal to metal contact between the two is established. Say, this is what is heated portion with the all molten, molten uh, oxides and impurities all these when the when the forging takes place all these uh, are removed and the softened end tends to take uh, altogether different shape. So, we will see that uh, the impurities are getting pushed away in form of the flash towards the outer edge and uh, this is the kind of so here we will see that oxi oxides and impurities are localized at the ends and here at the uh, the perfect metallic continuity is obtained so this uh, this increase in uh, localized increase in diameter is termed as the flash uh, now which will be coming out or this is the upset region and uh, the impurities will be localized uh, in this uh, region and uh, thereafter once the joint is formed uh, uh, and this upsetting basically happens under the forging conditions the metal near the ends becomes soft. So, under the forced conditions it uh, gets upset and while the remaining sections rem remaining uh, the while the locations away from the interface they remain at lower temperatures so they do not get upset or they, they do not experience the change in the dimensions are upsetting. So, this is how the joint is formed impurities will automatically be localized here under the optimal set of the pressure and the temperature conditions and this the flash is subsequently removed through the post treatment or a post machining operation for uh, developing the proper uh, for, for achieving the required size and uh, shape.
So, now we will see, mm, so this is the, uh, these are the basic steps and this is what happens in case of the flash uh, but welding uh, for developing the joints uh, between the members. So, so there are uh, four stages, one is uh, preheating, uh, second is uh, 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 like say flashing, fourth is uh, upset, third is upsetting or butting under pressure and then hold. In the hold stage, uh, the, the two components after upsetting, uh, they are kept together under pressure for certain time so that uh, the, the joint uh, can be formed and thereafter uh, the things are taken off. So, this is, uh, these are the, the four steps related with the uh, uh, flash butt welding and uh, now we will see that in which way uh, the things happen one by one uh, like say in respect of the uh, like say here this is time and we may have uh, like a, a pressure and a current. So, like this. Uh, this is what also we can explain using this uh, diagram. So, here we can use this also. Uh, uh, schematically, the four stages have been shown here. Initially, in the initial stage, the, the parts to be joined are uh, kept on the two uh, clamps of the copper shoes with the proper position. So, in, in the initial stage, uh, this is the position when they are brought together initially uh, like say initially we may have may have preheating or may not have. So, in, in case of preheating entire uh, the ends of the work piece are heated while in case of the flashing only the interface zone is heated. So, the flashes are there, flashes will be melting the impurities removing the oxides and uh, other impurities once the uh, required um, uh, request, uh, required forging temperature is attained, the ends are uh, 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 the components, movable components is brought towards the fixed component. So, that all the impurities are expelled out from the interface and uh, then upsetting happens. Whenever upsetting happens, we will see that localized increase in the dimensions. So, these three, uh, all these stages have been shown here like a stage 1, the, there is no flow of current. In the stage 2, the, the two components are brought in contact with each other, flow of current starts. So, this will be resulting in the preheating of the uh, ends of the work pieces and uh, thereafter as soon as the component starts moving, flashing starts and in case of the flashing, so here 1, 2, 3, this is the stage of the preheating and in the in stage 4, once the flashing is over, uh, the forging is done. So, that uh, uh, there is uh, in case of the forging, the two components will be coming close together, all the impurities will be accept, uh, expelled, uh, expelled from the interface and uh, the upsetting will happen. So, this is what we can see under the, uh, the as far as displacement is concerned, there is a continuous uh, and the any in the initial stage there is no major displacement one two three but in the upsetting stage there is significant displacement uh, happens so as far as the force and the displacement is concerned this is the kind of variation and if we'll see this is what happens actually at the interface uh, in the initial stages when there is a contact through the uh, peaks and valleys so heavy flow of the current through the peaks and valleys causes the very localized heating and the oxide layer will be getting heated and when this happens so means the arcing and sparking continues for long it results in the layer of the molten metal wherein having the oxides and other impurities at the same time ne nearby the heated region is also formed so uh, once this uh, is achieved the things are 
forged together. So, all these impurities and the liquid metal is uh, taken off or expelled from the interface and uh, it will uh, and the softened zone will be subjected to the upsetting to have the direct metal to uh, metal connection. So, this is what uh, we will see the, the different stages which have been shown in the initial preheating stage in the stage 1 the, when there is a flow of current uh, in the preheating stage there is a continuous rise in temperature and then temperature remains uh, constant in the, the stage 2 and uh, once the flushing is over and upsetting is starts uh, the temperature starts coming down uh, uh, starts coming down as a function of the time or this, this is also the burn of a period uh, and as a function of distance if you will see from the interface. So, uh, at the interface like this if this is the interface the point 1, point 2 and point 3. So, the kind of variation in temperature it temperature will be higher at 1 temperature will be somewhat lower at 2 and at 3 like this. So, uh, in stage 1, stage 2 and stage 3 when this is the uh, upsetting stage once the heat generation and uh, all that is over this is the flashing stage and preheating stage. So, this is the kind of variation which takes place and these variation this is the period when uh, the flashing is uh, uh, the required temperature is achieved and at this uh, time only efforts are made so that uh, the upsetting can be done in very proper way. Now, we will see the kind of uh, variations which take place uh, during the um, welding uh, in, in respect of the time and the pressure, time and the pressure. So, uh, here this uh, will be showing displacement, displacement is about the kind of movement here work piece and this is the another work piece. So, how the uh, movable end moves towards the movable work piece moves towards the fixed end. So, that magnitude keeps on increasing. Uh, so, this is what we will be showing here. Uh, so, this uh, displacement is found to be like this. So, this is the upsetting stage and uh, this is the flashing stage, flashing stage and the upsetting stage. So, in case of the flashing we will see uh, this is the uh, flashing current, current variation goes in like this. So, all both these will be moving together almost. like this. So, this is uh, the current variation or you can say this is uh, this one is displacement and this is the current variation. Uh, during the welding. So, here if you will see once the uh, here uh, this is the period when the uh, our flashing will be occurring temperature there will continuous rise in temperature of the ends of the work piece and uh, then the upsetting force is applied when the, there is upsetting force there is a, a rapid uh, there is a rapid uh, uh, displacement. So, uh, what we will see that the burn off period and upset. So, this is the magnitude now which will be indicating the displacement corresponding to the upsetting, upsetting displacement 
and this is corresponding to the uh, here the displacement yeah so this one this is corresponding to the uh, flashing displacement Uh, enough uh, mm, scope is kept for uh, the additional lengths corresponding to the flushing as well as the upsetting uh, displacement. And if we see the kind of variations which take place in the temperature right uh, at the interface or increasing distance away from the interface, then typically uh, the well thermal cycle or thermal cycles which are experienced at the interface, we will see the continuous decrease in temperature as a function of the time like say uh, here the temperature and in uh, y x x axis the time and then you will see the like point 1, 2, 3, 4 say at each interval of the 2.5 mm. So, the 1 at the 0 distance uh, that is at the interface. Uh, experiences direct cooling, but the points which are away from they will be experiencing thermal cycle like this, uh, like uh, the point 1, this is point 1, point 2 at 2.5 mm distance and then point 3 taking somewhat longer period, point 4 for the taking longer period. So, the peak temperature and the time to reach the peak temperature they are also longer. So, our time actually comes like this time to reach the peak temperature. So, here depending upon the kind of metal systems the heat affected zone may be of the different sizes. So, this is what we can obtain or the, we can see from the uh, well thermal cycles. Now, we will see uh, the what are the typical applications for this process. The typical applications of this process uh, includes like most commonly it is used for the joining of the rails. In addition to that it is also used for the joining of the rings of the large diameter. At the same time it is used for the joining of the chains and girders and uh, in addition to that, uh, these are also used for joining of the pipes of the large diameter. So, uh, here now I will conclude this presentation. In this presentation, uh, we have talked about one of the resistance welding processes that is the flash butt welding. This process is mainly used for uh, uh, the joining of the symmetrical section components and uh, uh, this process works on the principle of the electrical resistance heating plus the flashing or arcing for increasing the temperature of the ends of the work pieces to be joined to the forging temperature and thereafter upsetting results in the development of the joint. This typical kind of the temperature for a steel is 1250 degree centigrade and upsetting is done using the temperature uh, using say uh, 90 or 100 MPa uh, pressure so that uh, the joint uh, is formed an optimum combination of the, the current time and uh, the displacement results in the clean uh, weld and uh, this process can effectively be used for joining of the like rails, rings, chains, girders, pipes etcetera. Now, thank you for your attention.